Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video, Take Connection. Today what we're going to be doing is going to be kind of restoring this grill a little bit. Uh, show y'all what's kind of wrong with it. Uh, first of all, this piece of wood right here. It ain't like rotted, but you know, it's kind of kind of getting there. I got a uh, whole bunch of steel and stuff like that over there. Piece right there. What I'm probably going to be using. Another thing what I want to change out is this right here with some pipe. I'll show you all that uh, here in a moment. The first thing what I want to do is is I want to show y'all the inside. So this is the inside of this thing here. Not terribly bad. <clears throat> Grates, they're in pretty good con uh, condition. Uh, let's see. They gonna need to be cleaned off with a wire brush if I can even find it. Uh, I'm gonna shop back all this here out. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, let's jump into it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this. I explained to y'all in a little bit what these are for. Gonna remove these old grates. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zap these uh nuts and bolts out. Alright, now for the other side. Alright, this right here, lift right on off. And yeah. yeah, this piece of wood right here uh, is a little warped or whatever. And I dropped. You know how this little nail got up in there. Oh, okay. Whenever they uh, redone our uh, roof to the workshop here. What we're going to do right now is we're just going to just lift the wood right on off. Y'all can probably maybe tell that piece of wood is pretty bold. Did I say that word right? <laughs> it's, it's bent. But anyway, uh, I had made these uh, L brackets myself or whatever. I was just trying to take a look up in here. This right here would be going to the scrap pile, whatever. All right, so I have these uh, poles here. I forget exactly what they're called. Uh, anyway, yeah, I had them laying right up you know, with all my uh, with all my other poles my angle wire, stuff like that, the old bed frame, stuff like that. Instead of using wood, use this right here. And to prevent this from rusting, I got some forward. Now, we come right over here, we got this Krylon High Heat Max. We got this right here. This right here is a piece of steel. This right here is some nice, heavy, thick, 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 thick stuff. And when I say it's thick, I mean real thick. This grill right here was originally uh, black. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm about to show y'all how 
we're about to fix this so yeah and I've done all of this work myself I may either have to move this bracket or this bracket right here uh, cuz for this piece of sheet metal right here this piece of steel it's not going to be long enough it's going to be a little bit too short enough rambling let's get to work before we begin I want to point out something I think these right here are nylon washers I can't remember if it's nylon or if it's actually uh, some type of metal let me see if I can zoom in yes it was painted but uh anyway with that being said uh <laughs> I forget exactly when this right here grill was uh, actually painted and I was the one that done it but uh, anyway uh, I just kind of forget so there's one as my nut got stuck And there went my other nut. Alright. I'll worry about that later. I got plenty of those laying around. Alright, so this whole assembly is just like this here. Y'all see that? So, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do right now is, is I'm going to. Uh, take this one over here uh, and I'm going to see about trying to make a new one all right so what I'm doing here is uh, I've already done cut off the bad spot or the spot that was what it was like this something like that so anyway what I'm going to do now is is I'm going to take this and I know my lighting over here ain't that great but what I'm going to do get that out the way I'm going to go about right over here make it just about yay much longer something like that so now uh, what we're going to do so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, move this over. And if y'all are liking these videos, please be sure to give it a like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's cut this here. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to flip it around like that. Now we're just going to lock it down just a little bit. And we're going to finish this little cut. Alright. Yes, we're going to get all the birds and all that. I mean, you know, stuff like that. Whatever you do. Don't let your wife catch you with her fingernail polish. You may owe her one. <laughs> In all seriousness, this right here is uh, LA Colors. And uh, <clears throat> I was going to paint my fingernails, but uh, you know, never mind. I mean,. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh in all seriousness i'm gonna show y'all what i'm uh what i'm about to do with this uh fingernail polish all right uh in all seriousness so uh that was a joke guys i mean don't take it uh you know like i was really gonna paint my nails at least not on camera but anyway yeah uh, you want to put you like a little dab right there put you like a little dab right there no guys we're not going to use this as thread locker uh oh it may be a good idea so to get you some 
nice holes we're going to do that so what I done was I took the two screws and I just put them right down there like that what we're going to do we're going to take and we're going to drill some brand new holes up in this puppy right here all right let's see if she fits ah i'm about to say fits like a glove hole number two i'm gonna do this one off cam i got the bolts all cleaned up i got these here all nice and cleaned up uh so now what we're gonna do is is we're about to paint this let's get to painting all right so uh here we have it As you see, I just took this here and just kind of done that like that. And this right here is what we are using. And I tried to get down up in here a little bit. You can see I got up in there a little bit. But uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, I got the old right here this right here which is going to be this I don't want to touch it obviously because the paint is drying does that look a little bit longer oh well anyway uh so that's that all right so uh I'm trying to figure out a way to uh paint these here as well uh, these right here are metal uh, or aluminum. Well, I, you can just tell by the sound. Now let me try to figure out if I can figure out a way to paint these here. All right, so I got the uh, two bolts. How about we do something like this? Or is this going to be a blooper? I don't know. I'm going to include this into the video or whatever. See if it's going to be a fail or whatever. Uh, but I'm not going to paint with my camera on. I would hate to mess up my camera. Get paint all over you guys, all over my lenses. Let me go ahead and let me uh, grab my paint. And let me just, you know, do this right here. That would not be good. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead. Let me try to get this right here painted up. i bring y'all back and we will see what happened. Let's start shaking. All right. So what happened? Well, <laughs> my bench vice is, uh, Kind of black. Y'all see if I missed any spots or whatever. Eh? I don't know. Kind of pan around here. Let's see. We'll pick this video up in the next clip. We're going to take this piece of sheet metal and we're going to. We're going to go ahead, we're going to cut this puppy here like this. As far as me getting this straight, uh, I don't know.
as I said before, this stuff here is not, it's not thin. Not too bad. I mean, going a little freehand here. You know how good y'all can see all of them birds and stuff like that. All right, so I uh, wanted to give y'all like the the result. I don't know how well it picked up on that uh, last clip that I last clip that I just shot. I can't even speak right, but uh, yeah. I mean, I can do that. I mean. It's not like smooth, 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 but I mean, like you're just gonna run your hand down through it. I don't know if y'all can make, yeah, y'all should be able to make that out. Test fitted it a little bit. I'm gonna have to move one of them brackets uh, over. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna move the, I don't know if I'm gonna move the uh, left or right side. So we'll see what happens. These uh, brackets right here, these mounts, uh, Trying to get y'all good camera angle. Uh, anyway, see, let me do it again. See how that sits right there, but it misses right over here. What I'm gonna have to do is, is I'm gonna have to take my impact. And I'm gonna have to, hopefully I can get this uh, nut off of here. I got that bracket off over here. What I'm gonna do is to line these holes up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna do this, something like this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this fingernail polish. I'm just gonna put a drop up in there like that. Just like that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna and I'm gonna drill me uh, two holes over here. You can't really see it, but uh, I got it somewhat uh, mounted. So I'm gonna take this. As you just seen, I just laid that up there like that. I'm just gonna do this like this. What I'm doing right now is I'm just taking a bolt. And then I had to make a new hole, run that bolt with a, uh, a nut, you do that, yeah. got that, i give y'all like another take tip, right now what I'm doing, put the nut on, now you can take your impact, or whatever you got, this. Do that. Watch out for your fingers though. Tighten it up just like that. Now come here. Boom. I know I've, I've still got to put in a bolt uh, here. We're almost done with this here. Uh, yeah, I know I still got to paint it black. I was able to get this hole drilled. I started off uh, by using my finger and I just was feeling and using my mind. Anyway, what I had done was I just got like a little small drill bit and yeah, I just put it about right here where I thought the hole was and I just went for it. Then I used uh, this drill bit right here. But I drilled it, boom, here we go. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and put on uh, the handles and stuff like that. Let's do that right now. All right, so uh, I'm taking, try here's a new nut or whatever. I'm taking these guys here off. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to slip this into this it's going to come out the other side whether well, it wants to or not if it doesn't want to we'll just take mr impact 
you know, won't be able to see this, but. So, there's that. Let's try right here. Alright, so, uh, we got our new and improved steel handles on. I may uh, touch up over here on this side a little bit. I'm gonna take a uh, scraper and I'm gonna scrape all this crap air out. We have that right there. Once this right here dries, we we'll install it back on the here. All right, so uh, I've been cleaning out or scraping out this grill, whatever. So, let me tell y'all something. Please, please, scrape out your damn grill. All right, so finally, we get to install this right here. Now I got some uh, bolts here. I'm actually gonna uh, use, well, it's gonna be new for this right here. Kind of sit them down up in there like so. Take all the bolts. I got some lock nuts here. We're just going to start attaching them. We got our wrench up under here. Now we're just going to zip these down. Just kind of painting the, the head of these bolts. All right, so here is the finish and the final product. So I uh, guess we'll start with the inside. I cleaned the grates up. Uh, no, the grates, uh, they, they, they need to be seasoned. If you look down up inside of the grill, you can tell that it's uh, been uh, nice and clean too as well this right here turned out pretty good the smoker over here we also uh, clean this out yeah still got like a little washness over there but I guess that right there would just be for flavor I get that out eventually but oh yeah still one right up here too this grill it turned out pretty good uh, this right here is a brawl. Uh, yeah, I'm still undecided on the wheels. I don't know. If... Yeah, they they seem like they're in good uh, shape. If y'all notice, I had the OxyClean uh, sitting on top of here. Eventually, I think one day maybe I. Maybe I need to tighten this up. But uh, anyway, yeah. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate y'all. And thank y'all for watching. It means a lot to me. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on the way. And see y'all in the next video.